Let's fix your hotspot if it's not working on your iPhone. Now, there are a few different reasons why your personal hotspot may or may not be working on your iPhone. I'm gonna walk you through some steps to get that fixed. The first thing we'll do is we'll hop into settings here. And you can see right next to the personal hotspot, I can tap on it. Now, if it is grayed out, that most likely means because your carrier, whatever plan you have, AT&T, Sprint, T-Mobile, Verizon, whatever it may be, does not allow you to have a personal hotspot. So it is something that the carrier needs to allow you to use your phone as a hotspot. If it's grayed out, most likely that is the reason. Now on here, you can see I have a few different options. I can turn on, allow others to join. I can set my Wi-Fi password to whatever I want. If you're having trouble with basically disconnecting from that personal hotspot, you can always turn on this maximize compatibility. This helps, especially if it is not another iPhone, a Mac or an iPad, if it's basically an Android or a Windows device, something like that. So you can always turn that on. Another thing that you want to make sure is that at the top right here, you can see it switched from my Wi-Fi over to 5G. So what this does is the personal hotspot uses your cell or mobile data instead of your Wi-Fi. So it'll take all of your mobile data and it'll send it over to that other device using your personal hotspot. If you don't have a good signal wherever you are, then potentially you just will basically drop that signal from your personal hotspot to the other device. So check to make sure that you have a bunch of bars, you have a good and stable internet connection. Now, another thing that you can do is we'll go back here and we'll go to general and software update. Check to see if you have a software update. Sometimes the fixes for any kind of bugs for your personal hotspot may be in an iOS update. So just update your phone to the latest version. Now, the next thing that we'll do is we'll go back here and we'll go to the very bottom and you can see shut down is the option at the very bottom. So just turn off your phone, restart it, and a lot of times that fixes any kind of bugs or issues connecting to your personal cell data or cell network and then using that personal hotspot from your phone to whatever other device you're having. The next thing that you can do is tap on the transfer or reset iPhone right above it and then we'll hit reset and reset network settings, the second option. This will reset your connection between your phone and any kind of Wi-Fi or cell network. And potentially if there are firmware updates that need to be installed or basically upgraded, it will do that. It will go through those steps and upgrade those. After going through all those steps, the last thing we'll do is we'll go back and back again, and then we'll tap on cellular here. And you can see at the very top, I have cellular data. You wanna, of course, make sure that's turned on because it'll use your cell data to power that hotspot. And then the second option, or cell data options. You can see I have data roaming turned on. Under voice and data, you wanna make sure you have 5G, something fast so that it will basically give you the best internet on your phone to send over as a personal hotspot. And then on data mode, make sure you don't have it set to that low data mood, mode that potentially will decrease your uh, functionality in terms of you using that hotspot. So go through all of that and make sure all of that is turned on. And after restarting your phone and resetting those network settings, that personal hotspot there should be enabled. You should be able to join with any other device. Hope this helps. Do you have any questions on that? Leave them in the comments down below and I'll catch you on the next one.